win in a battle between the 1992 Dream Team and the 2008 Redeem Team? To answer this question, we need to first examine the team's roster. Yeah, I see this title, man. Let's get to it. The 1992 Dream Team is an iconic part of the history of basketball. The Dream Team marked the first time the United States sent professional athletes to the Olympic Games, but it was more than that. From a cultural standpoint, the Dream Team was basically a team of rock stars. A collection of some of the greatest players in NBA history. Behind Jordan, Magic, Bird, and others, the 92 United States team absolutely dominated the rest of the field, winning the gold medal by a staggering 47 points. And at the time of that victory, the consensus was simple. This was the best collection of basketball talent that had ever been assembled until perhaps the 2008 Redeem team. After an embarrassing bronze medal finish in the 2004 Olympics, the United States decided that their entire <laughs> Yo, Olympic bronze medal finish crazy. in the 2004 Olympics, the United States <laughs> decided that below. their entire Olympic program needed to change. A new culture was installed, a culture that made the game's current stars more involved with their national team's agenda. And the overhaul worked, as the result was the 2008 Redeem team, a new collection of incredible talent under the United States band. This time, Kobe, LeBron, Wade, Shh. and other led the United States to a yeah. gold medal victory over a talented Spain team. And at the time of this victory, there was no consensus. Only questions. The biggest? Who would win in a battle between the 1992 Dream Team and the 2008 Redeem Team? To answer this question, we need to first examine the team's rosters. To make this simple, we're cutting the rosters to 10 players each and using the starting lineups and minutes played for the gold medal games for each team. So starting at point guard for the Dream Team, we have Copy. Magic Johnson, a five-time champion <laughs> and three-time MVP. While Magic is clearly one of the greatest point guards of all time, he did enter these games a little rusty. As remember, he missed the entire 1992 NBA season after his HIV announcement except for the All-Star. At shooting guard, we have the Dream Team's biggest strength, and in his prime, Michael Jordan. Jordan is fresh off a 92 season in which he averaged 30 points per game, won the MVP, and led the Bulls to their second NBA championship, which helps the Dream Team out a lot, because some of their stars, such as Magic and Bird, will not be in their primes for this game, which means that Jordan will be the centerpiece of the Dream Team offense. At the small forward, Jordan's partner in crime on the Bulls finds himself again sharing the court with MJ. In 1992, Scotty Pippen finished as a member of the second team all NBA as well as the first team all defense. So he provides this team with a lockdown defender who can guard every position on the court. At power forward, Carl Malone is given the chance to actually win a big basketball game for once in his career. Sorry for the cheap shot, Carl. The mailman does oh, provide yeah, crazy. <laughs> an awesome scoring presence at the force. Oh, as in 1992, team. Malone oh, averaged shot. 28 points per game and was first team all NBA. And at center, Patrick Ewing provides a live oh body God. for the Redeem team to dunk over. Just kidding, Patrick. Kind of. But anyway, Ewing does provide his team with another great scoring threat down low, as well as a defensive weapon, as he averaged around three blocks a game in 1992. The bench for the Dream Team will consist of five yeah, trips, Chris Mullen, Larry Bird, yeah. Charles Barkley, Clear and David Robinson. As Leitner and Stockton are left off the roster because they played the least amount of minutes in the Olympics. With that said, this bench does provide the Dream Team with some extra offensive firepower. Clyde Drexler, fresh off a season in which he averaged 25 points per game, is ready to come in and be a spark if the starters stall. Chris Mullen is the best shooter Yo, on the roster, boy. ready to come in and be a spark that if the starters different. stall. Chris Mullen is the best shooter on the roster, a fact he proved by knocking down a team-high 14 of his 26 three-point attempts during the Olympics. Charles Barkley fulfills the team's need for a sixth man, as Chuck is both one of the best rebounders on the team and one of its best scores, averaging a team high 18 points per game in the Olympics while shooting 8 for 9 from 3. At backup center, the Admiral gives the team another huge defensive presence. As in 1992, he recorded a league high 4.5 blocks per game, and rounding out the bench is Larry Bird. While Bird is a basketball legend, 1992 was his last season as a pro, due to a career-ending back injury. Still, Bird will provide this team with some high IQ plays when he's able to get on the court, and his trash-talking skills in this game will be unmatched. And facing off against the 1992 Dream Team is, of course, the 2008 Redeem Team. Starting at point guard, Jason Kidd is the man to start the game. 
games. But remember, Kid was 34 in 2008, so his minutes were mm. limited. In fact, he only played 11 minutes in the gold medal game. So look for Chris Paul to play long stretches. The shooting guard for this team is Kobe Bryant, who matches up against the man who he has always wanted to play. And what a matchup it will be, because like I said before, Jordan is in his uh, prime and so is Kobe. In 2008, Kobe won his only MVP while averaging 28 points per game and leading his That's his only the NBA final. Kobe only won M one MVP? That's ridiculous. Which That's means ridiculous. that in this battle between the Kobe Dream Team and Redemption what? Team, the number one storyline will be the matchup between Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan. At small forward, LeBron James provides his team with an all-around superstar. In the 2008 season, King James averaged 30 points per game to go along with 8 rebounds and 7 assists. Monster numbers from one of the game's all-time great players. And with Carmelo Anthony at power forward, the Redeem Team gives itself another awesome Ooh. scorer and 3-point threat in its starting lineup. Melo has proved to be so at his best that swag. a perfect team player who causes matchup nightmares for opposing teams who start two big men which is exactly what the dream team does so that makes Melo one of the most important players on the redeem team's roster and at center dwight howard gives the redeem team a defensive force as the only true center on the roster recently a lot has been said about howard and his place among the all-time great big men so it will definitely be interesting to see how he fares against Ewing and Robinson. The Redeem Team bench is made up of Chris Paul, Darren Williams, Dwayne Wade, Tayshaun Prince, and Chris Bosh, which means no Michael Red and no Carlos Boozer. Like I said before, CP3 will play the majority of the minutes at the point guard spot, oh God, and he'll use his trouble. fresh legs to make a huge difference when he's subbed in. Darren Williams is also traditionally a point guard, but he finds himself playing mostly shooting guard in this tournament. Which is Ooh. fine because he has the three point range to make a difference when he's out there. Now, yeah, Darren man, Williams, I ain't gonna lie. Darren Williams handles, I ain't gonna lie. I like the way he, he dribbles the ball. It's like so. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. You know, like, I ain't gonna lie. The way he dribbles the ball, it just, it's like Incredibly really, it's really like he's bouncing the ball to the beat. Be Real and like Wade actually <laughs> the redeem team in scoring off the bench, so his contribution to this game will be vital. The backup big man for the redeem team is Chris Bosch. Bosch's shooting ability at the center position gives this team incredible court spacing. And the tenth man for this team is Tayshaun Prince. Prince will not get a lot of minutes, but he'll be able to use his link to really help his team on defense when he's out there. And so with the roster set, the only thing left to do is play the game. The game begins as Dwight Howard wins the tip and just seconds later, LeBron James knocks down a jumper off a Jason Kidd pass. Seven seconds after LeBron's shot falls, Patrick Ewing banks in a layup off a sweet feed from Magic. As both teams establish that they're going to the 2K, 2K game. Oh, I he thought he was going to uh, I guess the 2K, 2K simulator on his call. Next two okay. Seconds. Midway through the quarter, Michael Jordan gets on the board after a pull-up mid-range jumper, though he is quickly matched by a drive <sighs> basket from Kobe. With <laughs> Hello, the Euro. Court, Jordan draws a foul on his own explosive drive to the basket. And after hitting both free throws, the Dream Team takes a five-point lead. Then, enter Darren Williams. Williams comes into the game for the first time and quickly scores off a LeBron James pass. He then knocks down a jumper near the three-point line, and on his team's final Even the 2 the you see the, uh, the, 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 the tweez, he three. really dribbled into the beat. Team leads by two after the first, but it's still anyone's game. In the second, both teams' benches prove that they are ready for this huge moment. Chris Bosh knocks down a long jumper, then scores off a pass from Wade. Barkley hits a long jumper of his own, and then Chris Mullen hits a shot with his foot on the line. And while both teams' benches do perform well, the hero of this quarter proves to be Scotty Pippen. Pippen ends up with three steals in just the second quarter to go along with eight points, as he takes advantage of a LeBron James rest to score on several drives. The quarter ends on a Kobe Bryant layup, followed by a Jason Kidd three-pointer. Though it's not enough, as heading into the locker room, the Dream Team holds a one-point lead. The second half starts with a scoring explosion from Jordan. He throws down an incredible ah. dunk, converts on a turnaround jumper, and then makes an athletic layup to give his team a seven-point lead. This lead is short-lived, however, as Kobe hits a turnaround jumper of his own. And then LeBron knocks down a three from deep. With a chance to even the score, Melo scores off a long jumper from an isolation play, again proving that these teams are incredibly well matched. On the next possession, Magic fakes a pass and takes a rare shot from him in this game, scoring on an impressive run. On the other end, proving he's not overmatched, Dwight picks up several offensive rebounds and turns them into baskets, giving his team a three-point lead with two minutes left in the third. 
Meanwhile, Bosch again proves his worth for the Redeem team, hitting another long jumper, though he's quickly matched by Jordan. And after a Clyde Drexler free throw with three seconds left, the Dream Team takes a three-point lead into the final period and looks to take control of the game. And so, the fourth quarter begins with a renewed intensity from both teams. Dwight quickly throws down a monster dunk off an assist from Kidd, followed by Nice Ewing pick and roll. <laughs> With nine minutes left, in the two Charles Barkley gets the ball in the post and muscles his way inside. His finish gives the Dream Team a 10 point lead, but the Redeem Team has this plenty old of ass 2K. Dwayne Wade continues to be a scoring phenom off the bench, converting on two drives to the basket. He then shows that his playmaking skills are also elite, as he finds Chris Paul on a nice cut and then assists on an open Kobe 3 to cut the lead to 5. The next possession, Kobe calls for an ISO and again drills a long 3, making this a 2 point game. After this, the Dream Team finishes fails to score, as Chris Paul ends up with a steal on Magic Johnson. This steal leads to Sheesh. an eventual Dwight Howard dunk, evening the two teams with only four minutes to go, which means that it was officially Michael Jordan. Jordan began <laughs> oh, yo, I already knew we about to say that. Mello, Anthony Miss and going coast to coast, eventually finishing with a monster dunk. Ah. After a LeBron James short jumper, Jordan again takes the ball and makes a play, finding Scottie Pippen open for a jump shot against time, the teammate. team at two point mm -hmm. With a minute 30 to go, Chris Paul misses a runner in the lane, again putting the ball in Jordan's hands. His pull-up jumper brings the lead to four, but again the Redeem team will not give up. LeBron takes the ball strong to the basket and passes out to Kobe as the defense collapses. Kobe's mm. clutch three mm. drops through the net, and with 45 That's seconds, tough, Jordan's lead is cut to one. But again, Jordan comes through, isolating Kobe and then converting on an end one. His free throw makes the lead four again, and the Dream Team needs a basket and fast. LeBron tries to find Kobe, but the defense is smothering him. So instead, LeBron's forced to take the ball to the basket again. Uh, Though this time, uh, the Dream Team's defensive pressure is just too much. LeBron forces oh, the tough shot. Ah, 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 make their free throws to put away the game, which, they do, which means in sheesh. the end, the Dream Team defeats the Redeem Team by four points. Looking nah, at the yeah. box score, Michael Jordan had an incredible performance, proving that even in a game full of stars, he still. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I definitely feel like the dream team in like if this was even even in real life, we had this game in real life. Say they always in it in the in their respective years that they played on these Olympic teams, like bro said. The dream team, I think the dream team definitely will come with that W, bro. They definitely will come with that W. You know, they got so many all time great players on that team, it's 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 it's, it's a hard it's a hard task, you know. I mean he got bro, Kobe. If it's that, Bello, if it's that, D Wade, J Kid, CP3, but that's not that's not compared to Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan, you know, um 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 David Robinson, you know. It's not compared, I ain't gonna lie. It's not compared. But if y'all like the reaction, click on the last reaction, share the video, comment down below. Turn on post notifications and subscribe, man. I'm out of here.